Hi guys and hi Vicky, thanks for the requests. Uh, this uh, video is going to be about how to draw a smoke butterfly or a butterfly made out of smoke, which was a request from one of my subscribers. Thank you, it was a good challenge and I hope that I can teach you something in this video. So I'm gonna try to separate the whole thing in some steps so that it's more, digest more digestible um, and I hope that I make it easy enough for you to uh, copy out of it or make a, make your own sort of version of it. And the first step that I'm doing is I am outlining the shape of the butterfly. Whatever kind of butterfly you want to make, just outline with a really thin line or a, not. just don't make it a thick line because you don't want to have those lines at the end because you don't want it to be harsh butterfly wing lines you just want it to be smoked out so try to make it as light as possible and I'm using a HB pencil which is really cheap and it, it's not a big deal so if the pencil you have at home will work if mine works <laughs> now the second step is to um, look at a couple of pictures maybe and um, if you look at realistic smoke on a picture at least it looks like um, there's chunks of smoke, first of all, coming outwards uh, and upwards, of course. But in this case, the butterfly will just be random pieces of smoke, random chunks of smoke. But there's lines in there and they're not parallel lines, but they're kind of working together. They're intertwining together. I This is really hard for me to explain and I was thinking how to say this, but... Um, it's really like the lines are inner intertwined in a way like they're dancing you know um, but just make some lines and you don't need to make many lines in the beginning you can always make more just make some random lines in there uh, that work together and try to make it asymmetrical too if you want to I think that would add, that would add to a more realistic look <clears throat> compared to if it was symmetrical, I think that would look less realistic. And the bottom wings um, have less lines on my drawing because I thought that it's nice if the top wings would be more heavy. Okay, the next step is to take a smudger. You can take a Q-tip as I showed you. Uh, it works just as well, just don't use your finger in this case because you'd want a precise smudging of the pencil and your finger is not always so precise. It's okay to smudge with your finger, but you have to erase afterwards, so that's not really comfortable. So if you don't have a proper smudger made out of paper or wood, um, take a Q-tip that works just as well. And start filling out uh, those chunks of smoke that you made before. Fill it out uh, if you want lightly or if you want um, a bit dark, but I prefer to start light because then I can darken it up afterwards. Whether if I start dark, I can really lighten it up afterwards. I have to erase and it becomes a mess. And yeah, don't do that. Just stay away from that. And wherever the smoke kind of goes on top of each other, it's going to be a bit darker there. So wherever it... it, it um, yeah, where, wherever they're kind of uh, going, be uh, the smoke is going behind another chunk of smoke or uh, overlapping, that's where it's going to be a bit darker. And also on the edges, on the edges of the lines, on the inside of the lines, it's going to be darker as well. So the middle part of the smoke will be a bit lighter. I think that makes some kind of sense. I hope so. And smoke it out smoke everything out uh, make it as smooth as you can that is really key because smoke looks really smooth <laughs> it has no lines no um none of those cross hatching that some uh that some styles of drawings can can require no cross hatching just everything is smoked out and uh use the q-tip or whatever you're using to smudge out um, or use the leftover of the Q-tip to smudge out, uh, oh, I'll show you later, but 
I'm repeating some of the lines uh, to make them darker because while I'm smudge when I smudged them they kind of lost I kind of lost the lines so I'm making some of the lines appear harsher uh, I think that looks more realistic and um, you can make them as harsh as you want but I'd, I'd prefer that you start less harsh and then repeat more if you want to or some of the places not all the lines so what I wanted to say before is take your smudging tool and all the lift over of pencil that you have on it you can use to make like a dispersed smoke coming out of the wing uh, so that it looks it adds a nice detail and it looks more realistic like that I think uh, when you make a dispersed smoke coming out of the wing if that makes sense I hope it does and the bottom wing as I said has less lines it just has a one chunk of smoke or two chunks if you want to call it two and uh, I did the same thing I'm doing the same thing as I'm doing on as I did on the first on the first wing uh, I'm doing the same thing all over the butterfly it's just that the lines are different and the way that they're arranged is different and uh, again I'm taking my smudge tool and all the leftover of the smoke uh, of the pencil that is on my tool I am dispersing the smoke kind of and I'll disperse it more later because right now it looks like some spaghetti that looks really weird but later I would disperse it even more so it's more like interconnected with each other uh, with the rest of the smoke and really I think that's a big key uh, to making this drawing work because it's a difficult drawing and make somehow like make individual lines first and then later you can maybe sort of see which lines you can kind of connect or kind of kind of suggest that they're connected or something like that um because that's like i'm adding i keep adding more and more lines because i just keep connecting um different parts with each other so that in the end it's not too separated Okay, and don't be mad at yourself if uh, you don't connect the lines correctly because I did that and I've probably done that again now but I did try out a couple of times before I did this drawing to make all the mistakes that I could make or not all but make the mistakes that I the major mistakes that I could make and not get mad at it um, and really Vicky if, when you're doing your project don't make the first drawing on your project. Make a couple of drawings beforehand. Get out all the mistakes that you will make. And don't get mad at it. They will teach you. <laughs> your mistakes will teach you. And you won't be mad at your project that you ruined it. Or have to uh, erase things or st uh, things like that. And try to make it also asymmetrical if you want. Because I think... Um, that adds to the realism part. I think that makes it more realistic and nicer to look at in the long run. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, my camera died at one point uh, and hope thankfully I realized that really fast. So the only thing that I've done while it wasn't filming was those um, on the on the right side of the wing, on the top wing, I've darkened up some of the edges and that's pretty much all I've done. Um, everything else is the same so practice the lines that you're gonna make uh, because they're so different there's so many different lines you can make the diversity is infinite and you can you can really play around a lot uh, if you just relax and just you know play play with it don't don't like you can think of course you can think about what where the lines are going to be but just play around and and have fun and um, make different lines or you you can also if you want um, to trick the eye a little bit you can you can have if you like what a certain pattern pattern of smoke just repeat that pattern maybe in a different angle or a different size repeat that pattern uh, flipped around you know you can flip your page around and make the same pattern but just a little bit different, a little bit more skewed. Um, if you 
don't want to make all these different sorts of lines. That That's one of my suggestions. And um, I am darkening and I'm adding more lines because I think gradually, the, the more gradually you build it up, uh, the better it gets because then you don't have to erase a lot of things um, compared to, for example, if you have everything dark in the beginning and then you have to erase and it becomes a mess and yeah it is not nice i've done that before so i wouldn't recommend it um and in towards the end i'm kind of looking at again as i said which lines i can connect with each other which lines i can kind of um balance out what i've already made darken up some more lines and um, yeah, I hope that I'm explaining this uh, with yeah an understandable, an understandable way. Um, watch it a couple of times if you don't get it, and look at some pictures online and um, um, choose two three patterns that you like maybe, and try to recreate those on paper. And um, you can make a lot of smoke coming out, dispersed coming out of uh, the wings. You can make a lot of smoke dispersing out of the bottom wings or the middle between the wings. Uh, you can make anything you want if you have the imagination. You can make the same thing that I'm making, no problem. Um, I, I don't. I don't think that. That my butterfly is particularly, um, how to say, difficult. I think it's not, I think it's maybe in the middle. So it's not super easy, probably, but it's also not difficult to make. And uh, I do hope that I helped you somehow with this tutorial. Even though I'm not sure how well I explained the way the lines are. Because it, it's really random. I really made them so random uh, that it's really tough to like put them into words. But you can make your own lines and you can make them work, I'm sure. And um, yeah, at the end I'm just fixing the middle part of the butterfly. Um, and I've made that look kind of like the candle smoke, the starting of the candle smoke, if it's going, if like there's a candle underneath the the, the bottom of the butterfly, then it would be like, um, the middle part would be like the smoke of a blown candle, <laughs> I think. So, and I'm trying to make a dispersed smoke right now coming out of one of the wings, but I'm not sure how that worked out, so I might, I like do it with my fingers and yeah, smudge it out. But thanks for watching. This was a really fun video and I hope that you learned something. Um, see you next time and good luck with your project, Vicky. Bye.